Hello my perfectly magical pals and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you three amazing DIYs. The first is this awesome book centerpiece. Everything that I got, I got from the Dollar Tree. For this project, you're going to need some bugs. I picked these cool spiders, a hot glue gun, and some type of tray. I got this with the Dollar Tree, it is really cute. Also, they had these fun books. They are hollow inside. You're simply going to glue on the bottom. I actually used fabric glue because that's what I had in my hot glue gun. Just hold it down until it is secure. Then with your other book, you're going to angle it so that it looks like it's almost free floating. What I did was I actually took some sticks and I put them on either side to give them a little more balance. So you're just going to glue that on. So those sticks that I used are actually crafting dowel rods. You can pick them up anywhere. I also added another book doing the exact same thing with the glue. And if you need the dowel rods, it can help you out. But since this one is going on flatter, it gives it more security on its own. So it should be fine. Look how cool it looks once they're all stacked. It looks like a ghost came in and was playing around. Then I'm gonna take some moss. You can use moss or even spider web, like the cotton and glue it in between your books so that it kind of hides the glue and gives it that spooky look that you're going for. Then I'm going to take my light that I got at the Dollar Tree, turn it on so I know where I want to place it. I am just putting it around, gluing it slightly so that it doesn't move around on its own. And then on the back, you wanna make sure that's secure. Also make sure that the opening is easy to get to and you can turn it on and off. Then with more moss, you just fix it so that it looks really good. Gotta add a spider. So my spider is sort of hanging off the edge of my book. And there you go. It's super easy and fun. I added a couple more spiders to the bottom to make it even spookier. For our second project, we're going to be using light again. However, this time we're gonna be adding some skulls and roses. I used this longer container that I got at the Dollar Tree because I really liked the height that it gave. The first thing I wanna do is make sure my lights work and it's very important to put your lights in first. I chose purple because it gives it that really eerie look that you're going for. So by taking some glue, you're going to put it on to the back of the battery pack and make sure that the switch is upside so you can get to it easy. And you're just going to hold it to the very top. I'm also gonna glue it to the bottom so that my lights aren't wiggling around. These are great to use because they have a natural spring to them and so it's easy to work with. Then I'm gonna just start adding things. You can add anything you want. I chose purple roses to complement the light and my skulls. Now to make the top pretty, I used a whole rose there and just glued it on to the battery so that it would stay secure. You can add moss or anything that you want. It's really that easy. Now for the piece de resistance, you have to have a little spider crawling around on the rose. This is such a fun and easy craft that anyone can make. The last one is a mask. You have to have a spooky mask for Halloween. This one, you can get a mask from anywhere. I actually picked this up, I think at Michael's for a dollar. Um, and again, we have our really cute spiders and I have some different flowers to play around with. I'm going to cut off the top piece of my mask because I actually want to give it a little bit of a different silhouette. So you can play around with this. Now, 
taking my flowers apart, I'm actually going to be building up my own fabric, which will give it this pretty ethereal look. Kind of spooky, lots of fun. Now arranging all of the petals going up and outward, I'm just gluing on to kind of give a layered effect. You can do this with different colors, different type of flowers. I'm also taking from the black flowers the really cool looking bats simply gluing them on to each side to give it more height. I decided to add a spider in the center to really make it fun. Look how cute it looks! Thank you so much for watching. Now go out and make someone smile today. Bye guys!